Hello, everybody. My name is Mitch Smith, and I want to welcome you all to our Mitch Smith Bible Studies YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, I ask you to please subscribe and share us around. And uh, again, I want to uh, say God bless to you all and your all's families. And let us all remember to pray and pray daily and give the good Lord uh, his praise and glory that he so rightly deserves. And let's always thank him for sending his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to this world to save us from our sins. Uh, today, I'm going to be sharing a dream or a vision with you, whichever one you want to call it. And uh, you can take this uh, and do what you want to with it. Am I claiming to be anything? No. Uh, I have, you know, down through time, down through years, received much stuff from the good Lord. And I have written them down all in my journey, all in my journals. And then I don't know what it is about this the year of 2020, uh, it's just like he just now started able me to be able to release it to the public. And uh, for whatever reasons, only he knows, I don't know, but you can take this. And after I tell you, feel free to comment on it. Uh, do what you want to with it. Uh, share it around. Tell, tell me what you think of it. Uh, leave your comments in it. Uh, again, do what you want to. But here, here's what I saw. This here was in the spring of 2020. You know, right when it started getting warmer weather, started, things started flourishing back out. You know, it's springtime. Uh, but this here is what was shown to me. Here's what I saw. And uh, it was like, I was like over at a Middle Eastern country. And uh, everything, it was like dusky dark. I don't know if it was just breaking day and getting morning or the sun going down. All I know is it was just light enough to where you could see and, you know, basically tell what things was. But I, I could see, you know, it's a Middle Eastern country. I'll just tell you the country that it was is the nation of Israel. Uh, I don't particularly like giving uh, names and stuff like that out on video. Uh, I will normally tell people if they was to contact me personally, you know, I'll, I'll usually tell them more, a little bit more detail or the names and stuff like that. But I'll just go ahead and tell you uh, the place where I was seeing was like the nation of Israel. And the way it was, it was like, for some reason, I could see the top of it. And then I started hearing like cries coming from it, like uh, people requesting help or and something in that nature. And then as I looked up, I seen this uh, like a speck of light, ball of light up in the air, and it was coming. Uh, I didn't know what was fixing to take place. And then all of a sudden, as it started coming down, this ball of light, it looked like a human, but it was like light. That's all I can say. Uh, then all of a sudden, this human figure of light just burst into flames. But here's the thing. It stayed in flames, and it came on down. And once it came on down, it landed on the borders of Israel. And it was just standing there watching. And this was a great statue. And the way I could get a feeling off of it. Now the best way I could describe the feeling is like it was like superior. It was like a like a chief or a captain or uh, something of great stature you know, in that that type of a rank. It was very high ranked. I'll just tell you what I believe it was. The way I was getting it, it was like an angel. Like a Holy Spirit of some type. But it was great in stature. I mean, it was huge. But it was just standing there. And it was looking towards the north. 
It was standing right around the borders of the north end of the nation of Israel. And it was just standing there, just looking north. And it was still lit on fire, but it was like in human form, great in size, but it was just standing there. But it wasn't getting consumed by the fire. And uh, then all of a sudden, I seen this great army, huge mass army coming out of the north. And it was like tanks, soldiers, and uh, everything that you can think of, like in a strong, mighty military, they had it. They was bringing, like I said, tanks. They was bringing, like, missiles. They was bringing uh, large guns. They was bringing soldiers. I mean, it was just like it just all this huge army is fixing to come down on the nation, on that nation. And that figure just standing there. And it was looking, it seemed coming. But just as soon as that evading army was, that was coming out of the north crossed the borders into the nation of Israel, this figure held up its hand. And it just wiped out this whole entire huge army. I mean, like I said, this, the large army that was coming, it was like a large military. One, you know, it's just huge. But this one spirit, and again, I believe it was like an angel. This one Holy Spirit just held up its hands. And it wiped out that whole entire evading army. It didn't matter what type of weapons that army had. This spirit took it out like nothing. All it does is held out its hands like that. And as far as you can see, it just annihilated that whole army that was fixing to come down upon Israel. And as it stood there and wiped out that great army. I looked up. And I seen many more just like it, as many as you count. And it was like this. Like, I couldn't count the number of them. There's just no way possible. It was like hundreds of thousands and more. I mean, more than you could ever count. And it just lit. As far as I could see, it was lit up with these like holy spiritual beings. And they were just up there. But the one that was down on the ground, it was like, it was in control of them. It was like, it was their commander or whatever. But just think, people, just this one angel, I believe, or Holy Spirit, is able to wipe out a whole entire, just one. There's no way possible that we could imagine. I believe them Holy Spirits took out the whole earth if they was told to. But I know this, that invading army that was coming out of the north, just that one took them all out. It was defending the nation of Israel. And I'll just tell you, anybody better think twice than trying to do something that the nation of Israel. They better think more than twice. I'll just tell you, there's just no way possible for them to do it. That nation is spiritually watched over and protected. And I'm just saying, anybody that tries to come in and say, there's just no way possible. It's under the watch of the holy spiritual realm the Holy Kingdom, they better leave the nation of Israel alone. But as the Spirit stood there, as it took off to uh, go up where the other Holy Spiritual beings was, just as soon as it left the ground, it was like there's a great like flash and one of, it was like a huge noise something like a huge blast of thunder 
and uh, it's like the ground started shaking. So I don't know if it was an earthquake or what. But all I know is when it left, just as soon as it left, there's a great light, and I heard like a big rumbling, almost like thunder, and the ground started shaking and everything. And just as soon as it got up there, the others, I mean, it ended. But I just wanted to share this with you. I mean, he put it on me, Sherry. I have several things written down, down through time, down through the year. But it's just, I don't know what it is. I've always kept things written down, but to myself, it's just like this year. I mean, this is year 2021 20, now. And I had this one right around the spring of 2020. I have others, you know, even before that year. But I do know, and I have a feeling he's going to start letting me, allow me to release it to the people a little at a time. For whatever reason, I don't know. It's his reasons. I'm just being obedient to him and releasing to you. But again, I, want, I just wanted to release that to you all and share it with you. I want to say God bless to you all and your all's families. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all for watching our YouTube channel. If you've not done so already, subscribe to it. And remember, and remember uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and here on YouTube and uh, share us around. I'll have many more Bible teachings coming up on this YouTube and uh, also spiritual dreams and visions, and you can take them however you want to take them. I'm just sharing with y'all. I'm not claiming to be nothing. I, he just gave them to me, and I just share them. Uh, so you can take it however you want. If you want to respond to it, feel free to. Leave your comments. Uh, tell what you think about it. If you want to try and interpret it, feel free to do so. I'm just sharing it. I don't own it. I'm just sharing it. Uh, but I want to say, God bless you. all remember to give the good Lord the praise and glory that he so rightly deserves and give him praise, glory, and be thankful for sending him his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to his throat saves from our sins. Like I said, I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And God bless you all and your families.